In this video I'm gonna show you how you can make a polygon portrait without creating any kind of mess. So let's get started. Hey what's up guys Druel here and in this video I'm gonna use an image from deviantart.com and if you want to use the same image the download link is in description. Now if you look at the image uh, I can just make the half of the image and then I can just simply flip it and my work will be done. But if you have an image that is not symmetrical, someone is looking sideways or something like that, uh, you will have to do the whole image and you there is no shortcut to it. So deal with it. Now before we start uh, actually making the polygons, uh, we need some guidelines because you are basically going to do something like this. Create a triangle with this polygon lasso tool uh, like this. Go to filter, blur and where is it? Average. This is the only thing you are going to do. But here's the catch. You need to make them uh, like uh, create them properly so that they do not run into each other and it doesn't look like mess. So in order to do that let me like remove this one. First of all make the duplicate of this one so you can just drag it here or press ctrl J. Both will do the same thing. Once that is done uh, you have to go to view show and here select the grid. Your grid might not, uh, might not look something like this. So to change it, you can go to edit. Uh, there is preferences and here is the grid and slices and stuff. Here you can change the color or anything you want. Like if you want more subdivisions, if you want to make smaller polygon, bigger polygon, you can change everything here. So that is cool. Now uh, to create it, uh, you have to go to view. Oh, sorry view and there is snapping so keep it on so when you now create a like let's say a polygon it will automatically connect to the corner and you will not have to do a lot of hard work cool now uh, go to filter blur and average once you do this to remove the selection you have to press ctrl D now to the other one create a dot here uh, create a dot somewhere here and create something like this and cool now uh, every time you do not need to go to filter blur and do all the step no uh, once you do that blur thingy as you can see it is already in shortcut so all you have to do is just press ctrl f and it will repeat itself you don't have to do it manually so just make another triangle like this uh, and here and all you have to do is just press ctrl f and keep doing it until the whole image is ready so now we know how the basic thing works and also make sure that anti-alias allies allies uh, you get the idea uh, that is unchecked otherwise it creates like distance between the polygons and it doesn't look very attractive so make sure that thing is not checked and let's say and press it so now as you can see the edges uh, sometimes doesn't look good sometimes it does so it is better unchecked and it's worked it works good that way so we are done with the basic stuff how to create grids how to create polygons and now all you have to do is just create the half one do not rush and it doesn't have to be like the bigger lines you can use the smaller lines as reference too it is totally fine so now you know how to do this thing here's a tip uh, whenever you are doing this effect do it step by step do not rush it or uh, try making really big polygons or really small ones because we all know that the smaller polygons create a lot of details and it looks cooler but uh, if you are doing it for first time it can be really really pain in the ass so try making medium sized polygons and do not stick with the triangles because I made that mistake and it made my job really really hard uh, if there is a like uh, let's say you want to make a square like this so that you can create the shape better feel free to do it uh, there is no rule that it has to be a triangle do whatever the shape you want in the end it just has to look like a polygon nothing else then I was talking about doing it step by step so by that I mean once you are doing uh, like the moment you are doing the eyebrows just do the eyebrows do not mix it with the eye so finish it like this and then let's make another polygon uh, here somewhere and let's make a shape and do it like this this is the proper way so that your eyebrow looks different otherwise uh, if you do something like this make one polygon here this is not a proper way so if you create something like this you will lose the whole eyebrow and it's just not gonna look really good 
So same goes with the let's say eyes or something like this. Uh, if you are making the white part of the eye, uh, that's wrong. And if you want to remove the this uh, like dots, you can use backspace or delete key. It works fine. So let's say if you are making the white part here. So click one here and click one, click one and another one. See, this is a square one. Square works really good with the eyes. And now I'm gonna press Control F so that will repeat the filter. And this way, finish this portion uh, like this. And once this is done, uh, start making the inside part. So let's say something like this. And here. Uh, that's not accurate, I know, but you just get the idea like how you are supposed to do it, okay? So this way just keep making it uh, step by step and make sure that if you have symmetrical image uh, uh, in the nose, uh, make something like this and then start making the shapes and you don't need to do the other side. Just keep this straight line in your mind and then start making the shapes. And, and this way you can create your whole polygon effect. And the same goes with the lips. It can be a little bit tricky and trial and error thingy but you will get it done. So now let's cut to the final output. So your final output will look something like this. Uh, not exactly like this because you will have this other part. But just delete it uh, using this tool. It is really simple. Just make a shape like this and delete it. Not a big deal. So once you do this, uh, your output will look something like this. Uh, and let me shut off this thing, view, show and grid. So it will look something like this uh, once you turn off the background and here you have this thing on single layer. Now to get rid of this white background, it is actually really simple. Uh, go and select your magic wand tool and do it. But if it, it is not white, it is polygon shape. So you can just simply grab this polygon tool and make a selection and then delete it. Both are really fine. So now I'm just gonna press delete and then press Control D. So now we have the basic shape ready. Now we need to make a duplicate of it. So just press Control J. So it will make a copy of it. Now again press Control T. Right click and select flip horizontal. Hit enter to confirm your selection. Now grab your move tool from here and then uh, drag it. But while you drag make sure that you press your shift key and then drag it and then joint it uh, like this. And it's ready. Now we need to create a background for this. So that is also really simple. Uh, we do not need this one. Don't need. Uh, let's keep it here. Might need this one. So this is here. Now go to your solid colors and select a solid color. And select some darkish color. Let's say grayish. Uh, that seems fine to me. A touch darker. Okay. That seems fine. Now uh, create another layer. Let's turn this off for a while. And then in this blank layer select your brush and in the brush make sure you have first soft brush. Make it really big. Make sure it is white color in the front. Okay like this. And then make a dot like this. And then change the blending mode to the soft light. So if I turn it on enough you can see the effect. Now let's turn this back on. And if I turn it on enough you can see the output. If you want it strong just duplicate it. Press Ctrl J. So as you can see it looks really beautiful once you change all the background and finish the final effect. And remember when you do it for the first time it's gonna suck a lot. So keep that in mind. Uh, keep doing it like two, three, four, five times until you get it the way you want. And then you will have the best output in the world. So that's it for this video and I'm pretty sure I missed a couple of things but if you have any questions or you are stuck somewhere or it doesn't look the way you think, ask me in the comments, I will help you out, don't worry about it. Now if you want to learn how to make someone's face look like a comic book, click the box on the left or if you want to learn how to create a abstract effect in Photoshop, click the box on the right. And you know you can subscribe to my channel so every time I upload a new tutorial you can get the update. Plus you can go to my channel and check out more than 50 free Photoshop tutorials. So till then, goodbye, take care and have some fun with Photoshop.